We're looking at the process of homeostasis for the carbon dioxide levels, which basically means how we keep the carbon dioxide levels within the normal range within our bodies. When a person is involved in physical activity, there's an increased rate of cellular respiration. We know the formula for cellular respiration is that we have oxygen taken in and we have also glucose being used as a food source or energy source. They are broken up to give us ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the energy molecule, as well as water and the waste product is carbon dioxide. So an increase in the process of respiration leads to more carbon dioxide being produced in our body. Now, special receptor cells within the neck at the carotid artery will pick up this increase in carbon dioxide and they send electronic impulses to the medulla oblongata of the brain, which is uh, where the spinal cord joins with the brain. The medulla oblongata will respond by sending impulses to two parts of your body, namely the breathing muscles. The breathing muscles are your diaphragm, which is between your chest cavity and the abdominal cavity. And we also have the intercostal muscles between your ribs. So those muscles will be stimulated and you also have impulses going to the heart. The result of the impulses to the breathing muscles is that they increase the rate of breathing, the speed at which breathing occurs, as well as the depth of breathing. And the impulses to the heart cause the heart rate to increase. Because of the increased heart rate, we have blood moving much quicker through the body. More carbon dioxide is taken away from the cells to the lungs. And the increased rate and depth of breathing means that more carbon dioxide would be exhaled. And the carbon dioxide levels therefore go down and come back to normal. So this is an overview of the process that when carbon dioxide levels in the blood increase above normal, this can be dangerous because carbon dioxide, when it joins with water, it forms carbonic acid and that change in pH can affect the normal functioning of your body. So it's kind of toxic to your body. It's picked up by receptor cells in the carotid artery in the neck. Impulses are sent to the medulla oblongata of the brain. The medulla oblongata then stimulates the breathing muscles known as the intercostal muscles in the diaphragm as well as the heart. The breathing muscles contract more actively which increases the rate as well as the depth of breathing and the heart beats faster. More carbon dioxide is taken to the lungs and exhaled from the lungs and the carbon dioxide levels then will decrease and return to normal.